Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Beardman Studios. In this video, we're going to continue from the last one by just modifying a network contract. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the NCW. So let's go over to the NCW, and we're going to do our move cube network object. Now what I want to do is I actually want to make this cube rotate just constantly and have that rotation sent across the network to everyone else. So I'm going to add a field, rotation, select quaternion from the drop down and interpolate that. I'm going to save and compile. And then I'm going to jump over and open up the move cube again. And here I'm just going to do transform dot rotate. It wants our axis. So we're just going to do vector three dot up and we're going to do time dot delta time times 90 degrees. So we're just going to rotate 90 degrees a second, and we're going to go to network object dot rotation, which we have now, is equal to transform dot rotation. So we're assigning the rotation for the network on the server to the current transform rotation, which means on the client, we're going to want to do transform dot rotation is equal to network object dot rotation, and that's going to be pulled back. So I'm just going to put a comment here. This is client code. This is server code. Cool. Just a little cleanup there. And now uh, all we need to do is build this out to run it again and check it out. So I'm going to go to my multiplayer menu. Uh, just as a refresher, I have the multiplayer menu first, move cube second, run and background is on. Now I'm just going to build and run. So now that it's built, I'm going to play, jump over here, press play in the editor, wait for this guy to launch up. I'm going to host. There's my rotating moving cube. Go over here and press connect. So there we are. And now we see the rotation and the cube moving. So just like that, we're able to go and edit a network contract. Super easy modify it and get it up and running inside of our game. If you have any questions, please let me know. In the next one, we're going to go over remote procedure calls and how those fancy things work. So see you in the next video.